Hey guys, welcome to our new series on genetics. So in this seven part series, I'm going to be going through all the genetic jargon behind breeding ball pythons. We're going to start with the simple uh, and just technical parts that you need to know about genetics, keeping it nice and simple, but covering all the basic foundations, which so many people are missing, progressing all the way up to linking it to ball pythons, how inheritance works in, in co-dominant, incomplete dominant mutations, recessives, um, and um, acts like super, what we mean by banana six linking, all of it. So it's a seven part series, which hopefully by the end of you'll feel a lot more confident in genetics and ball python genetics in general. Um, so we're gonna start off our first episode today with a little introduction to genetics. So today we're gonna look at what we mean by genetics. So genetics is the study of genes and we're gonna look at how genes work and how we inherit them from our parents. So generally speaking, when a female, symbolized by that symbol, uh, breeds with a male of any species, you are going to produce an offspring, which is the scientific term given to a child or um, a baby, right? So when a, a female and a male reproduce sexually, meaning that there is sexual reproduction going on here, where um, the sperm from the male fuses with the egg from the female, we produce a off an offspring through sexual reproduction. Now, during that, DNA in general, we tend to represent as the double helix. Okay, and please excuse my drawing. We have done a mis we've made a mistake down here. Sorry, it's gone lopsided at the bottom. But here is DNA or the general representation for DNA. And I'm just going to represent these in a blue. And any organism has different sets of DNA. So we have lots of DNA in our system. However, what's important to know is any offspring produced from sexual reproduction where a male and female come together half of the dna or in this case we'll say this strand here comes from the male and we'll say this strand here comes from the female so you can see half the dna will come or be inherited passed down from the father or from the male and half the dna will be passed down through from the mother in this case or the female so each if we say each of these bands are genes and there are so many genes in any organism, it will be very hard to even say the number. But we're looking here at a general um, overview for genetics. So a gene in general codes for a characteristic. Okay, and our characteristic would be, it depends very much on the type of gene we're talking about. Now, if it's a gene, let's say for eye color, that characteristic you can see, you can see the color of a person's eyes if we're talking about humans. If it was something, however, like blood type, we can't actually see with our naked eyes what that characteristic is, okay? So some characteristics are visual, some characteristics are not. So it's a key point to, to make here. Now, if we continue on the case of eye color, eye color in humans, comes in a variety of different sort of base genes. So you've got people, some people have brown eyes, some people have blue eyes, some people have green eyes, etc. Now, bear in mind that these all belong to the gene, right, for eye color. And on the DNA strand, let's identify for a moment, let's identify this top one here as the gene for eye color. You can see, you can have one copy from dad and one copy from mum. One copy from the male, one copy of, from the female. However, here I've already listed three colors. Now that's because for any given gene, there are multiple versions of that same gene. What we, the term we use for that are alleles. 
Now, an allele is, let me do a little line here. An allele is a variation, or you could say different version, of the same gene okay so they are different versions of the same gene in this case so you could have the brown allele you could have the blue allele you could have the green allele etc bearing in mind though that an organism can only have two copies of a particular gene they could be the same so you could have an organism with two browns or they could be different. So you could have two different alleles, but that is the most you could have. You could have a brown and a blue, but there will be no way of having all three. You could not have a brown, a blue, and a green. So let's look at that in an example. We're talking about eye color. Let's have a look at an example of this using humans. So let's say a male and a female came together right so let's say that a male or let's say a female and a male came together to produce some form of offspring and for this example let's say hypothetically that the female had two blue or had blue eyes and the dad or the male had two brown eyes. Now it's a crude drawing of an eye, but they're more symbolic than actual eye drawings. So let's say the dad had two copies of the allele for brown eyes and the mum had two copies of the same allele for blue eyes. That means when sexual reproduction happens, the offspring is going to inherit one of these genes from the dad and one of these genes from the mum. Now we've simplified it here by making sure they have the same allele. So the dad, no matter which of these two he passes on, will have to pass on a brown copy, an allele for brown eyes. And the mother, no matter what gene she passes on, she will have to pass on a, an allele for the blue eyes, okay? So you have an offspring now that's inherited one copy from the dad, one copy from the mum, or one copy from the male, one copy from the female. And this offspring has two different alleles, okay? Whereas the parent only had one version, so two copies of the same version, the offspring actually has two different alleles. So if we were to look back at our DNA, something like this, and we were to say, for example, up here somewhere was eye color. That offspring would have inherited one copy of the blue-eyed allele from mum and one copy of the brown-eyed allele from dad. Now that doesn't mean that the offspring would have two different colored eyes. That's not how it works. It just means that this offspring has one copy of this gene, one or one copy, uh, one copy of this version of the eye color gene, and one copy of this version of that eye color gene. And so you have an offspring that is carrying two separate alleles, and that is the basic on how inheritance works. We will look in the future how we can actually calculate this and what happens when you have an organism with two different alleles breeding to another organism with two different alleles and what could the possible outcomes be but we will look at that in an upcoming video right guys i hope you really enjoyed that first episode hopefully you learned something there our next episode will be coming soon so definitely check that out when it's live hope you enjoy that guys don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button until the next video we'll see you then bye Thank you.